Hey there, everybody. In this episode, we're going to talk about GPS. So in my class, we have these really cool GPS Garmin trackers um, that you can use for all kinds of things from hiking to geocaching and creating maps. So we just use them today, or you're going to use them soon. And um, we're going to talk about how they're used in flight because this is an aerospace class. So first of all, when you look at the live map of, uh, of airplanes, there are highways in the skies and there are things called waypoints. And what waypoints are, are there kind of, lo there are locations based off of longitude and latitude where planes can kind of get directions. Um, waypoints and navigation was started a long time ago with maritime and boats and that kind of same technology and same planning has gone to the skies so and it's still used today based off of what we've been doing for hundreds and well thousands of years okay now we've got a little bit nicer technology than they had we've got these awesome um e-trex garmin trackers and one thing you can do in the area is you can download an app and do some geocaching if you like exploring. Um, you can also use the website here that is uh, geocaching. It's got a nice little video. It's literally the world's largest treasure hunt. Um, there are places all over your town that you'll find for geocaching and, and probably even some spots where uh, you've never been in your town. I do want to, you know, footnote, please go there safely and at good times of the day. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna figure out longitude and latitude of some places around campus. You're going to use your tracker and set waypoints on those. And then what you'll do is after you do that, we're gonna go to Google Maps and you are going to, I'm sorry, this is Google Earth Pro, and you're gonna plug in your device to your computer, and then you can hit File, Import, um, click on your, your Garmin device. Let's see, double click that, it should be under GPX. Um, you're gonna to have to hit this right here for file type, go all the way down to all files. So I just did this one on uh, December 8th, it was a little chilly outside. I'm gonna hit open and I'm gonna check all these boxes and I'm gonna hit okay. And it zooms all the way in on our location. And as I drop this down, you can see the waypoints. Um, we started at the parking lot and we went here to spot number two. We went to spot number three. So you can see, you can zoom in, zoom out um, and so this will tell you if you right click on your location and go to properties, it will tell you your latitude and your longitude and you can copy and paste those right into there. You can also see like how this distance compares to this distance. You might think the latitude and longitude 41 by, by 86 are pretty darn close. 41 by 86, and they are, and that's where you can see the difference between um, minutes and seconds. Okay, um, another part of the assignment is to find another couple spots around campus um, and another couple spots around town and even spots out of town. So you can either maybe ask to borrow one of these um, and find some spots or you can use Google Earth Pro and you can type in um, your favorite location. I'm going to type in uh, the History Museum here in town. I'm going to hit search. It's going to zoom all the way in for me. And you can explore this. We've got Copsalome, Center for History, Studebaker Museum. And you can drop a pin on there. And it will tell you location and you can create a map 
doing that too. So I hope this is helpful. Uh, please get this assignment done. And if you have any questions, please let me know.